Hey friends, this is Sunil Chandy and I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas here at General Convention. Over the course of the next nine days, uh, we will be in session. And uh, throughout the nine days, I will also be uh, interviewing uh, in this video form uh, bishops and lay leaders who are thought leaders in our church and I hope that you will they will be informative to you of the issues that we're facing here at General Convention. Along the way we might also hear some interesting and funny stories, ways to handle General Convention. All of this I'm doing so that you could kind of experience through my eyes what, uh, what General Convention is and I hope that you will learn a little bit more about our church and know that I am thinking of you and we are thinking of you and we hope that you will pray for uh, all the deputies here at General Convention as we uh, decide policy and procedures for our church. I'm with our Bishop, Bishop Nisley, and this is our first day of registration and then tomorrow we actually start the sessions and um, I thought this would be a, a good way to start our video project uh, and with our Bishop uh, introducing uh, you know, the convention to Christ Church, and then also talking about salient uh, issues that we're going to be dealing with. Well, see, the thing about convention is you never really know what is going to be salient until you get about three days in, because things change. People make resolutions, resolutions get amended in legislative committee, um, and then they come out to the floor. Um, people form opinions sort of on a constellation of things. I think the what I'm hearing in the last 24 hours since I've been here is there's a pretty significant conversation going on about prayer book revision. Mm. Uh, people want to do the whole formal prayer book revision as opposed to a, a minor emendation or just no prayer book revision. And a lot of the parts of the country uh, seem to be not open to that idea. As I've been talking to people in Rhode Island, I've not heard a whole lot of excitement about prayer book revision right now. So I don't know how that's going to play itself out. But I think that's a lens that you want to look at uh, or, or look through when you're trying to understand what's being passed around. There's uh, the budget that's going to be set. Uh, my committee uh, on evangelism is going to be looking at a $6.8 million budget for church plants and support ministries in the Episcopal Church. Um, there's a, a host of resolutions about that as well. And then the best part is just seeing people you haven't seen in a long time. I came up and Sunil was talking to somebody already um, about former parishioners. You kind of see your life in the church when you're here at General Convention because you go back diocese by diocese that you've served in. So Bishop, what else would you like Christ Church Wrestling to know about? So I think the what I'm very much impressed by at this general convention is the, the quality of the media coverage we're going to have. And if you go to the generalconvention.org's website or if you go uh, to the Episcopal News Services website, you'll see regular uh, feeds of what's happening on the House of Deputies, what's happening in the House of Bishops. If you've ever been curious what it looks like, it, it's mostly boring, but every now and then it gets terribly interesting for about 15 minutes. Um, There'll be a, a regular show every night produced that talks about what's happening at convention, what the big issues have been, what people are focusing on in their conversations. And I think you'll see regular uh, email bulletins coming out both from the diocese and from the, uh, the wider church about information about what's happening. So keep an eye on those things.